Welcome to my channel. I thought I would do a what I eat in a day and I did not plan this video at all because I wanted to, it to be very realistic. Like we desperately need to go gro grocery shopping kind of situation. Little disclaimer because I feel like these are necessary at the beginning of what I eat in a day video specifically. This is very personal to me. I'm not saying this is how you should eat. This is just what works for me currently in my season of life as a mom of three, 32 years old, and I just kind of try to maintain my weight. So I honestly eat basically anything that I want. I don't really restrict myself because I've noticed that if I do restrict myself, it just makes me want it even more. Like if I say I'm not having sugar all month, for me that just doesn't work. It just doesn't work mentally. It's not a game that I want to play. We have traditions in the family where we do like Friday night movie nights where we have pizza. And then on Sundays we like to get donuts after church at Ingalls. Sometimes as a mom of three who's home all the time, it's very difficult. It's not difficult, but like mentally sometimes it's too much to cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Five days a week, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Like moms need a break too. So I love getting prepackaged things that make it easier for me to feed my children. Fed kids are happy kids. So no, I don't eat perfect. I'm not super like holistic and all of that, but I do believe that food is fuel first and foremost. It is energy for your body and everybody has a different palate. Everybody has a different budget. Everybody has a different lifestyle and you just do what works for you. And everybody also has different goals. I always, always, always start out my mornings with my little cappuccino. That is just something that I do every single day. Like I go to bed thinking of my morning cappuccino. I wake up, take out my retainers, brush my teeth, walk right over to my espresso machine and make my, I don't, I don't care what's going on around me. This is my priority in the morning. It just makes me happy. Coffee and me have a very lovely relationship. I love coffee and coffee loves me. So that's what I have literally every single morning. Sometimes I would eat breakfast. Sometimes I'm like, I don't know. So I, I say, follow your intuition. Like if you are, you wake up and you're starving eat but right now in the season of life i'm not like super into breakfast like it changes for me personally so i have my coffee and then sometimes i will have a green juice i kind of want to combine green juice and coffee into every single morning routine so we don't have a juicer with us where we are living right now because we were traveling so i put it in storage i like i don't really have a lot of room here as it is and i miss it now that i want it so I bought some green juices from this website called Pressed Juicery. They do, they do like these cleanses, but I like having them as like separate juices. So I have some beet juices and some green juices. And because I don't have a juicer, it's a great way for me to be able to have these green juices. They're expensive-ish, but sometimes you can find codes and stuff online. So let me show you them. Let's get in that last sip. All done. I uh, definitely have another one today. All right, let me show you my green juices. They are these right here. They're from the brand Pressed Juicery. And stuff does settle to the bottom, so you gotta give it a good shake. You can choose from so many different kinds of green juices. I bought a bunch of different kinds just to see which one I would like. This one's pretty good. It's cucumber, celery, spinach, lemon, kale, parsley. I mean, at the end of the day, they are green juices. And then there's greens too. Some of them I already drank, so I'm not able to show you. This one's probably my favorite green juice. It is more sweet because of the apple. Like this one has 28 grams of regular sugar. Like it's not added sugar. It's mainly the apple. So it's apple, cucumber, celery, lemon, spinach, kale, parsley. But I do like how that one tastes because of the apple. And then I do have a greens four. This one's cucumber, celery, spinach, lemon, ginger, cayenne. I think I'm actually going to start my day off with this one. And then I have some beet juices left here. This is my daughter's drink. She hates when like the kids drink her stuff. So she labels it and I'm like, okay, you do you girl. So this one's, oh, this one's probably my favorite roots juice. It's apple, lemon, ginger, beet. And this one has 50 calories. The cucumber, celery, spinach, lemon, ginger, cayenne. So it is not a meal replacement, you guys. It is better to eat. Your fruits and vegetables in my humble opinion because you're getting the fiber these do not have fiber some of them will have like one like this one has one gram of fiber but you will get so much more fiber which is so much better for your gut health if you're eating your fruits and vegetables i just like these as like something that's just easy on my digestion in the morning and i'm still getting a lot of greens in like a lot of the nutrients from the greens even if i'm not getting the fiber in and it's very easy for me to drink so it's not a meal replacement this is kind of like just something that i want to start adding in and eventually juicing my own once I get my juicer back in the morning. On a normal day, I probably wouldn't eat all of these in the morning, like cucumber, celery, spinach, lemon, ginger, cayenne. Like I wouldn't eat a plate of this in the morning. And it's just a great way to get certain benefits in. So I'm gonna sip on this, and this is gonna be kind of like right now, it is 10.36, I don't know if you can tell. And kind of, we had a really, really large, late start to the day. So I'll just be sipping on this, because honestly right now, I'm not that hungry. 
but I am going to work on making breakfast for the kids, which I'm not going to show what they eat in the day. Maybe there'll be a separate video. Today I'm just doing kind of like what I eat today. <laughs> Had breakfast. I'm still working on my green juice and also made myself a pumpkin cinnamon latte at home because I'm gonna go grocery shopping right now. So I like having a coffee whenever I run errands. Definitely cheaper to make it at home, especially when you have a really good espresso machine at home. I make really good espresso at home, not gonna lie. We go grocery shopping every week for essentials like milk, fruit, cheese sticks, snacks. My kids love snacking on fruit and cheese sticks and stuff. And then I like to make a list of things we can eat throughout the week and then just buy stuff for that. I don't specifically plan out like, oh, we're gonna eat this on Monday, we're gonna eat this on Tuesday. No, I'll buy like steak, salmon, chicken, and then what I can make with that throughout the week and then make it whenever we want it. And I usually do like three dishes throughout the week because there's always leftovers and if anything I'll just go back to the store and get what I need but I kind of focus on like three dinners today I'm going to make chicken plov which is a Slavic dish we have some chicken thighs that I defrosted we don't really meal plan and sometimes I really fall off and I just like I'm like man I need a break from cooking I'm just going to be really lazy this week I'm not going to lie I wrote down I want to make sushi some salmon bowls so I got stuff for that and then I want to try making steak tzatziki bowls which I saw from the dense bean salad girl on TikTok. I tried her Italian inspired dense bean salad. It had pepperonis in it, mozzarella balls, uh, y'all. It was so good. You make it once, like a big batch, and you just eat it throughout the week. So when time comes and you're hungry, it's so much easier to eat something that's already made and pre-planned. And this is healthy. It has a lot of nutrients in it. It has chickpeas as well, beans. So you're getting a lot of your nutrients and it's just so much easier than sometimes snacking on junk. Because I feel like snacking on junk, little things here and there, that is what can get a lot of people. And then when you're lazy and you don't want to cook, you're not in the mood, then sometimes you just end up eating something that's not that healthy. So it's just a great way to stay on track by having something that's pre-made. Like today I'm gonna have chicken salad for lunch because I made chicken salad, salad a couple days ago. So have that with some boiled eggs that are already boiled. It just makes my life so much easier, honestly. So just wanted to share that if anybody else is like struggling with. And this is stuff that I make my, for myself because my kids, they don't want to eat chicken salad and the steak and ziki bowl. So for them, I'll make other stuff. And I'm gonna go to Aldi because that is where groceries are the cheapest. Ooh, eggs, I gotta write down eggs. that I got at Aldi. These bags are so heavy. The AC's on, by the way, because it is so hot out. The heat was on, and then during the day, it gets so hot, so there's like 80 degrees in here. So I turn the AC on, so that's the noise that you're hearing. But in total, I spent $146 right there. Everything was food other than I got aluminum foil, we needed some, some sandwich bags, and hand soap. So say $140. And that's, this is gonna be for the whole week. I kind of planned it out in my head, and I picked up some things that were on my list, and I'll share about that. For lunch, I'm gonna do mac and cheese for the kids. I found this mac and cheese. And like I said, you know, sometimes I want it easy. There's nothing ready, so this is what I'm gonna make for lunch for them. And they love to snack on like apples and fruit and stuff, and they got an extra one for later this week or whenever, maybe. Green onion, cherry-ish tomatoes, true strawberries. I didn't get any other fruit because it was expensive, so if I see that fruit is like four or five dollars, I'm not gonna grab some cucumbers. This will be good for a lot of stuff. They didn't have smoked salmon. They were all out and I was really hoping they would because that tastes so good in a sushi roll. My kids love snacking on this Colby Jack cheese right here. Some bell peppers, always good to have. Some garbanzo beans, which I'm gonna use to make my dense bean salad. Carrots for full cilantro. I got some deli meats. My kids love this. My camera died so I had to get the new battery is saying that my kids love the salami for sandwiches. I already have some bread and some cheese. They love Colby Jack cheese and we love sandwiches for lunch. It's just so easy. I know processed meat is not the best, but my kids are the happiest kids. I got some shredded cheese because this is great for literally everything. Quesadillas, anything, literally anything. I got some white onions, some tzatziki for my dense bean salad, aluminum foil, like I said I needed, some baby Swiss. And then for myself, I got these carb counter whole wheat wraps. I got some apple cider and I'll be using that to make a green tea apple cider tonight. I'll show you guys. Some salmon, petite sirloin steaks, which I'm gonna use for my dense bean salad as well as for 
the kapusta, the cabbage soup, these wraps right here. I plan to use this with some pre-made salads that I found. I've tried both of them before, they usually always have it. A tabbouleh salad and a chickpea salad, and I feel like this would be so good in a wrap. And you can spread some tzatziki on it if you're doing a tabbouleh maybe, some cucumber, you can add in a protein, like chicken breast, whatever, you can do deli meats, whatever's your preference, but they're just so nice to have for a quick, easy lunch. A little hack if you are trying to count your calories not count your calories but watch your calories because calories in calories out is a science at the end of the, the day it applies to literally everyone however there are certain people that have like let's say diabetes for example or PCOS that will need a more individualized plan and dietary needs and will have a harder time than your typical average person but calories in calories out does apply to every single human being on earth it just will look different depending on if you have something like diabetes or PCOS or any hormonal imbalances so I do try to lower my calorie intake where I can for me that's something like a tortilla wrap instead of having one that's like 120 calories for one this one's only 60 and it's whole wheat it might not be everybody's cup of tea or like for example I do 2% milk for my cappuccinos in the morning versus if you went with whole milk it's a little bit more I personally don't go below 2% milk like doing 1% or skim milk it's not my vibe so I personally do try to cut calories where I can but whole foods are whole foods it's always a good idea to eat whole foods because they have a lot of nutrients in them and stuff I'm eating my daughter's leftover apples in the morning you would be surprised how much snacking you might think like oh I didn't even eat a full meal but if you were snacking throughout the day all those calories add up and then also if you're like eating leftovers of your kids food for, as a mom at the end of the day all those calories they do add up and let me show you what else i got so I picked up some granola my kids love this one so they're third time buying it and i buy two bags at a time because it goes so fast this is great for them they love it with milk they love it in yogurt which i got some yogurt for them. it's whole milk vanilla for them for myself i probably would do greek maybe because it has protein in it it's just a great option Cottage cheese is a great option. Also has a lot of protein. You want to make sure you're getting your protein in. Protein is a big one. Yes, kefir. They love, love, love kefir. Peanuts. My daughter loves to snack on these ever so often. The dry roasted peanuts are really good. And this one is with sea salt. Some sour cream because we needed it. Some jalapenos. Jalapenos. I just love having. I love adding them to literally everything. I got these for my kids to snack on. This is their spiced cider applesauce. This is also our third time buying this. This will be gone in like two days. Got some eggs, we needed some eggs. I needed some hand soap, like I said, and sandwich bags. And then I found this. It's hot honey infused with chilies. And this would be so good on boiled eggs. I'm actually gonna put it on my boiled eggs today. So I'm actually really hungry. So I'm gonna start this for the kids. And then thank God the chicken salad is already ready. I have some eggs boiled here that I boiled a couple of days ago. This is my chicken salad. We got a rotisserie chicken. And then whatever was left over, I chopped it up, put it into a bowl with some celery, pickles, red onion, boiled egg, and then I made my own dressing with mayo, pickle juice, some dill, and what else did I do? Mustard. That's kind of it. And then salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's almost four o'clock and I'm going to start making the plov because it takes like 30 minutes. I mean, it's going to take like 45 minutes by the time I slice and chop everything and pan fry it. So I'm going to get started on that, but while I do that, I'm kind of hungry, so I'm going to make myself a protein smoothie. I have this protein powder that I got off of Amazon. This one here, it's NorCal Organic, and I actually ended up transferring it into my previous protein tin right here because this one's just so much easier for me to grab from the front and store this in the back. So I'm going to do two scoops of this. Collagen peptides. These guys, right? I don't love how collagen peptides taste. But I'm just going to add that in. I have these powders here. I actually love this brand. I don't know if you can tell this powder used to be from there as well. Take some water. You can do ice if you want it iced. I'll probably add like one ice cube in here. Milk would have made this taste so much better. And the collagen powder. Honestly, I don't love the taste of it. I'd rather take like supplements with collagen in it. So I probably won't repurchase that one because I honestly rarely use it. And then I feel like a banana, some peanut butter in here would have been so good. But... I don't want something too high in calorie. I just want something as like a light snack in between now and dinner because I am still gonna have dinner. So I'm just gonna sip on this while I make plov. And of course, Alexa, play Rainy Day Jazz on Spotify. Rainy Day Jazz from Spotify. <laughs> Thank you. 
They brushed their teeth, we prayed, got them ready for bed. They're still kind of like talking and hanging out. It takes them a little bit of time to fall asleep. I wanted to make some tea for me and my husband, my husband and I. And I want to share a recipe for a green tea apple cider that I found online. I definitely have made a habit of anytime I watch a show at night, which is when I usually watch a show once the kids go to bed, it's kind of like the only time that I can. I made a habit of snacking, like I'll get my snacks on whatever. So I'm trying to get into teas. Sometimes I'll have a cappuccino, like a good old cappuccino, but I'm trying to get into teas. Like I'm not usually a tea drinker. Sleepy time tea is a really good one. There's one from Celestial Seasonings that has one milligram of melatonin in it. Works so well, but this is perfect for fall. So I have a little tea strainer situation here and I'm gonna put loose leaf green tea. You can also use like regular green tea bags. I don't even know where we got this one from, but I feel like you can find loose leaf green tea anywhere. I'm gonna plop it right in here and steep it not too long because I feel like if you steep it too long green tea gets bitter all right I'm gonna let that steep for like a minute or two and then if you like your tea to be sweet add in some honey this is actually my dad's own honey he has bees you like always have honey on hand and this is where the magic happens to make this an apple cider green tea you take some apple cider I just picked this up at Aldi today and I usually froth it but I'm just gonna put some in a cup and microwave it and I add about like this much maybe not even a quarter cup maybe a quarter cup into each cup my husband doesn't want apple cider in his but I'm gonna do it for mine so I'm just gonna do literally a little bit I don't know if you can tell it's like this much and I'm gonna microwave it for 30 seconds you want to get it nice and piping hot so that it doesn't cool down the tea and I'm just gonna add it right in to my tea because my husband doesn't want any and then last step top it off with some ground cinnamon Voila, this literally tastes like the best fall tea ever and it's not super high in calories. You can omit the honey if you don't like it sweet or adjust the sweetness, use whatever sweetener that you want. Like you can use stevia if that's your jam. And it is literally, with the cinnamon especially and the apple cider, gosh, it is so good. It's like so freaking good. But yeah, I'm gonna finish the video here because we have homeschool tomorrow. So I try to get the kids in bed by eight but i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for hanging out with me you have to have to try this tea recipe it's not my creation i actually found it on tiktok it came up on my fyp from liv schmidt thanks for hanging out and cheers